If a plant has been pollinated and a pollen grain fertilises an ovule, then a seed will be produced. The next step of this process is for the seeds to be dispersed, and dispersal means to spread far and wide. Depending on the species of plant, there are a number of different ways in which seeds can be dispersed. In this video, we will look at seed dispersal as well as the process of germination, whereby a seed grows into a plant. One way of dispersing seeds is via the wind. For wind dispersal, the seeds must be light and adapted so that they'll slowly come back down to earth. Another way is dispersal by the water. So often seeds that are dispersed by water are very large, but are able to float on the water. And many of these will travel by the oceans and settle in a new place far from their parent plant. Another way is explosion. So some seeds, like these peas in the pod, will disperse by the seed pod exploding and all the seeds being dispersed far from the plant. Seeds with hooks or a sticky coating can be dispersed via animals. So we call this dispersal external animal dispersal because these seeds will stick on the sides of animals on their fur for example and will be transported to another place where they will then drop to the ground. And a final example is again dispersal by animals but this time internally. So this is whereby the seeds are held within fruits and the fruits are very attractive to the animals who will then come and eat them and through their faeces later on the seeds will be dispersed away from the parent plant. So each seed, although they may look very different, it will have three main parts. It has a seed coat which is a protective outer layer. It has an embryo which is the young shoot and root which grow to become the plant and it has a food store to provide the seedling with nutrients that the seedling will need as it's growing in its early stages because until it's developed into a larger plant with leaves it won't be able to do photosynthesis and produce its own food so it relies on its food store until then. Wherever the seed lands if the conditions are favourable it will germinate. Germination is the process by which the seed grows into a plant. So the shoot will grow upwards and will turn towards the light. The root will grow downwards and will turn towards water. The conditions needed for germination are water, warmth and oxygen. If any one of these are missing, the seed will not be able to germinate and start growing into a plant. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.